Welcome back to Samsung Games, the place to find new strategy games and today we're going to play Isle of Arrows. This is a demo that's part of the Steam Game Demo Festival so you can check it out right now. And this is a tower defense game with uh, on an island so it's very limited in both space and the towers you get so it's quite interesting. I would say it's it's quite it's I think it might be a little bit more challenging than the typical tower defense game because it has some interesting that you have to think about the space the pathing of the enemy and also the fact that you can't really pick when you place a tower like normally you can just place a tower anytime not not here you gotta be really careful about it so let's begin i'm gonna be playing the campaign the archer's oath an archer's oath is the freedom of death only the most taunted bowmen are worthy of becoming defenders of the isle all right let's play We'll be playing as the Founders Guild, which is the only option in the demo. Founders gain health every 10 wave. There are other guilds like Architects and Merchants. Merchants, for example, collect coins, which might be quite fun. You start off with 10 health, and then here you have your gold, and we gain plus one uh, per income. And here are sort of other important resources that we could use up. And here we're going to be getting some waves. Now, on the bottom, you can see your cards, and you can place them. Now... The enemies come from here and they are trying to get here towards your crystal. You want to stop them from doing that. But you can only place the the next following card, which is this arrow tower. I can skip it for two gold and good go to garden. I definitely don't want to skip the tower. So I'm actually going to place it over... I think we'll place it over here. Actually, I, I might place it down there like this. And then we're going to start the demo wave. And once you start the demo wave, the cards will move, or you can pay to move it. Now, if we place a garden, we gain money. So I'm actually going to place a garden. I don't quite know where yet, so I'm just going to place it kind of... Oh, I can only place it here on this where there is a greenery, so I'm going to place it there. It's going to give us a little bit of extra money. Now, I could either just let the wave go, or I can pay to gold and place path. Now, this path is really cool because this path allows me to turn. So what we could do is we could turn either this way and move around this tower or what might be better towards that wave over there. But I actually, I think we're going to go here near this way. So I'm actually going to click next and place this path. And we're going to place it like this and we're going to move around this way. Just going to allow us to move a bit further and gain more money uh, this way. So let's start a demo wave. You're going to easily be able to kill this. Great. Now I'm going to place, ooh, this path is really good because I can place one path this way and then up on the next wave I can move from here upwards, which means we're going to have a lot of time around this beautiful tower and I can place another tower here, which is going to give me a lot of time. So we're going to click on this. Absolutely decimate this. I mean, ooh, we finished the wave. We got a magic wheel. The Royal Cooper offers you to play a game of spin to win. Yeah, let's play that. What do we get? Let's get something good. Oh uh, no, we lost health. Okay, yes, this is good. This is good. What is this? Okay. Ooh, we got a magic wheel too. So we got two of these resources. And let's place a path over like this. And next time we get a de depot. Depot gives you bonus if you if it's like fully surrounded. I do have to check whether it needs to be surrounded by towers or not. So we're gonna check that in a moment. Draw a bonus card as soon as this is adjacent to two towers. So that might be a little bit difficult. Hmm, interesting. Very interesting. Hmm, bonus cards would be good though. Like, if you place two towers here, you would have to place it to maybe like this way. But the problem is, I'm gonna. The, what does the the next thing we get is the flag, and what does the flag do? Is that it allows you to extend the island. So we definitely need to place the flag over here. So I can't really afford to place the depot there, and I don't know where else I'm gonna be having flowers. So I'm gonna skip it. Let's place the flag like this, and now we grew the island, and we're gonna need a turn soon. So let's start the demo wave. And you're gonna have a bit of a difficult time, I think, maybe killing enemies now. So we're gonna need... Okay, Ice Type is pretty good. Place an... So let's skip. And we'll place an Ice Trap over here. What does this do is to every adjacent... Well, the thing is that... I mean, I guess we have to do it here. 
or what I'm thinking about is like if I place it this way the problem is I can't place any towers here which is a bit problematic it will slow down enemies but we might be better off placing it like this it will still I think slow down enemies on these three tiles but at least it will allow oh actually maybe just this one that actually might not have been as good. Yeah, they're slowed down, but kind of on a tile where it's sort of irrelevant. Yeah, we're gonna start losing some health here, I think. Yeah. Okay. But we finished the wave, which means I can grab... Ooh, I think I need... What does a fishing hut do? Gives two for each adjacent water tower. Well, that'd be nice, but right now I need an arrow tower. And I'm going to place it this way so that we get more water. So next time I could also, oh, I can't buy the fishing hut now. Oh, I can't buy anything else. That's so sad. The fishing, fishing hut would have been so good. So I guess we're down here. I don't think I can place any more. Yeah, that's so sad. I definitely want this path. Also, I can't afford to, to switch anyway. And are we gonna go for the next way? Okay, I think I think we're good now. I think we should be able to finish this guy off. No, come on. Ooh, cannon tower though. Let's skip and let's place a cannon tower. And we'll place it over here so that it gets like the best area. And we should check on this. Damage is all enemies in an area, not always accurate. Yeah, so this is definitely great. Now, this path thing allows me to turn... So it would be that way and this way, which is exactly what I need. Except I can't place it because of the water town exit. So I need the following one. But actually, no. I can place this over... Here. No, it won't let me. Can I place it there? Um. Ooh, this is interesting though. You can place... The water tile can be like off into the distance. If I were to turn this... Like this. I might be able to place it like that. And I use my sort of flag resource to be able to place one thing on top of a, like an empty tile. I might do that. It's not really useful right now, but it might help us out later. Yeah, the cannon tower is pretty cool. Oh, these guys are really fast. Okay. Bandits appear out of nowhere. You must act quickly. Pay half of your money or risk losing one health. I'm gonna try to fight. Okay. The path thing. The thing is, if I were to able get the, to get them to move through there, that would be much better. So can I place a path like this? No, I can't, unfortunately. I can only place... So let's try to place that one there. And maybe we can kind of get like a surrounding area in some cool way. Hopefully soon. Ooh, that was cool. I don't know if we can kill him in time. I need more towers. Come on, come on, come on. No, okay. Ooh, but we finished then, right? So we get a founder special. Okay, so I can place a path here. It's great. And the next tower, ooh, the next tower has water again. I hate that. Um, Because I can't place it anywhere. Actually, I could place it here. Let's do it. I can place this over here. But again, using one of my flag resources, so let's go. We, we need more flags to grow our, our island, is what we need. I'm making the way we need to. Now, I could turn this way and move around that way. But then we won't have anywhere to place a tower, which is kind of problematic. So we might actually just want to turn back to go this way. Which we can't with this path thing anyway. It's kind of a question. Well, I mean, actually, if I, I this tower will have a range and this one as well. So let's actually make it go this way.
Okay, we, we made this through this way pretty easily. Okay, the next three tiles will be path corners. Next three tiles is free for three uses. And I don't know what the... I think I'm gonna try to... Can I do next and get the cannon tower three times? No, I can't seem to place it again, so I guess that was just it. But we got another ice trap, which might allow us to slow down some enemies in interesting place. I would love to get this bomb, which would allow me to destroy something that I already have. That'd be quite useful for us. Ooh, fishing hat is gonna give me a bunch of money. Ice trap, ice trap. I could potentially place an ice trap. Like maybe I'm trying to figure out what would be the best placement. I don't have really space here, that's the problem. Like I could turn it this way. But like what's the point? Actually it might be point to stopping there at some point. I don't know. Next time I'll place a fishing hut here, which will give us two adjacent water. I don't know if it's gonna... I don't think it's gonna count the diagonal. We'll have to wait and see, but it's gonna give us these two at least. Yeah, so fishing hut over there. Okay. And next we need to place the flag. But we can only place the flag here, which is kind of problematic because that's the path thing I need, so... See, but you can see how this is a little bit more difficult than a typical uh, tower defense game, I would say at least. Okay. Cannon towers also damage the tile in front of the explosion. Yes, because we have a lot of those. Ooh, I could skip and just get a small flag, which would allow me to grow this way. Because I, I don't have any... Yeah, but we're going to have to do that because I don't have any of the... So it's like get like a tile. I think we're going to have to get a growing thing here. But it didn't help us as much as I needed, really. Uh, garden gives me point for being adjacent to tower, so that's completely useless for me right now. Now, we gain two gold per turn right now because if you have above 10, you gain additional amount of points. Yeah, the cannon tower is really cool now because it allows me to hit like multiple enemies at once. Which is a nice... Uh, sorry, it always could, would allow me to hit multiple enemies, but now it allows me to hit multiple... What? Look at that! Now we have to handle enemies in multiple places. Come on! Um... Ooh, I wonder if you could connect the path. I don't think you can, though. A garden... Yeah, I'm gonna place a garden somewhere. Let's place... Okay, not there. Let's place a garden here. And let's go. That's so interesting that you get like multiple places you have to handle. That's really cool. We're on wave 17, so there shouldn't be much left. But I think... Yeah, we're gonna get hit here for a while. Ooh. I need... Okay, I think I need the path. To go this way to make it a bit longer for them and then i'm gonna place an arrow tower as well wait why can i place it this way so i guess i'll have to place the tower maybe there We have a lot of money, so I might be willing to place a flag. Place a flag here. I can't place it here for some reason. I think it's because of the rocks. But like, if I place it there... I mean, it, it will allow me to at least place the next flag somewhere in there. Um, and also, I could maybe move this in this direction so that we'll get an extra step around that tower over there and we do have a slowing down the enemies from when they come but again we don't actually have any useful towers near there so it doesn't help as much as one would maybe hope but 
I don't want to know if we can get to 20. Yeah, I think we can. Shock prices are reduced by two. I would like to regenerate three health. Great. Garden. Garden here is no good because I do need to place stuff there. Garden there is also no, no good because I'm probably going to need to move the pathing. This way. So I think we might grab a path um, like this. Alright, I have a flag now. Oh no, I should have been putting a flag there. Oh man, I completely forgot. Okay, so let's place a flag this way at least, so we get more space in this whole area. A monument... Gain... Uh, so this would allow us the flag that allows us to sort of build partially adjacent, which is uh, really important for us. So I, where can I build around it? I think maybe we'll place it here. And then once we build around it, I think we'll just let the next wave go. Okay, we've got income plus two again because we've got above ten. Ooh, this is great. The cannon went really well. Alright, path and arrow tower. So this path thing is the thing. I can make them join up this way, but then we'll have to place some flags or something in order to make this work well, but I think we can afford to do that. And let's place an arrow tower immediately like... No, 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 I, I need to place it like this. And we'll just call it. Yeah, we should be fine on the top set. Let's see if we can handle the bottom set as well. Yeah, we made it to 20 waves. Ooh, nice. All right, we got the flag. Finally, I'm gonna place the flag here, which will mean I have to kind of move around, but I think that's fine. Let's actually place this path thing just kind of near here, not because I want it, but because I want the points for the monument. Oh, I still can't place it here because of the stupid rocks. Uh, so let's, um, well, I can't place it here either. Well, I could place it like that. So let's place the flag at least that way so we can connect up in that direction well. And I could place an arrow tower. Wait, can I place an arrow tower on the rocks? Yes, I can do that for some reason. Okay, well that's good. At least we get an extra tower. Especially on, on a slot that slows down the enemy, so that's actually pretty cool. Ooh, as you can see, we're gonna need some more towers over there. That was pretty close for my taste. None of these are good. I need a small flag is what I need. I need a small flag here. Or I need to get the brown flag so that I can like buy stuff. Gardens give me money if they're adjacent to two towers. I could place a garden here but it won't be adjacent to two towers anyway. Oh, I could place a garden there. No, I can't, right? It has to be on a green spot, I think. It doesn't actually say so here. Do we want to try it? I don't think it's going to work. Oh, it does. Okay. So you gain extra money. Um, I could buy the I could buy the water. No, I can't because I I can't. I don't have a brown flag to place something on top of nothing. So I'm actually not gonna do anything. I'm just gonna click continue. I'm fine. This path with water. I'm thinking let's place it over here. Once we sort of manage to do the turn, we will be able to get some points that way. There are only three waves left, so we'll try to do those, but yeah, I think we're gonna lose some health here in the back. Oh, actually we are, great. How about in the front? No, the front is fine. Well, actually we have a lot of really big guys, but we do have the cannon towers, so... Great. A regular path, off you go. And you know what? Regular path, off you go as well. I don't know what does the fountain do, we'll find out upon the next wave. I don't think we can kill this guy. Yeah, we're gonna lose one health in the back. What about the front? Ooh, this is some interesting new enemy there. We killed him already, so I can't really show you very well, but... I think, yeah, one of them makes it through. 
a fountain. Gives two health when fully surrounded by other tiles. Well, I could place it over here. It's going to be fully surrounded soon. Or I can fully surround the monument with it. But well, actually, we do kind of need the health. But this is such a good place for a tower. I think I'll place it over here. We might be able to surround it at some point. Wait, the monument? Oh, I should have placed it here. Because the monument would have given me a chance to get... Uh, to get the flag that I need. And I would also like to place a path there. And I think I'll also place an arrow tower. Like this. Ooh, they have shields. So these are the new guys with shields. That's kind of interesting. Oof. Okay. So we'll make it through this turn definitely, but I don't know if we can kill at least one of- Okay, we killed one. Okay, we killed two. So one is still left. Ooh, I need- Okay, so these are called bridges, not brown flags. I apologize. I need bridges definitely. Um... I don't really care for path or- Oh, actually the ice trap. I don't really have anywhere to place- Well, I could place the ice trap here, but I need to save the space for the flags. Though there could be flags potentially here as well. You know what? I'm gonna place the path here, mostly just because I don't want to pay the money for... Um... Wait, why doesn't the monument give me... It should give me stuff because it's fully surrounded. I'm not entirely sure why I didn't. Maybe it counts diagonal as well, I'm not sure. Okay, handle it there. We only have two HP left, but this is the 25th wave, so... No, 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 no! Come on, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him, kill him! Okay, we just finished all the 25 ways in the name of it. It was very close, we got one health left. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, write down in the comments, and you can click on the right to watch some other games that you play on this channel. I'll see you there. Bye-bye!